happy Friday to everyone. This is the day, uh, the day of Venus. It's Friday, Venus Day, and it's definitely a day of appreciation, love, communication, and support. And we are in an interesting time of life, not just time of year, time of life, becoming aware, recognizing who people are, seeing how they show up, seeing the authentic um, correspondence with people. We see people who um, are inspired by other people. We see people that are envious of other people. We see that from our personal life all the way up the chain to our political to the political realms and in this world it would become like from earth to heaven because they they sit in the heavenly space of the human experience and we see this all over the place definitely something to um, concern yourself with if it is directly involved however what i'm going to say is what you do personally what is in your life right now what you have to do with deal with that's what you need to pay attention to all the other stuff out there is outside of you and if you're inspired by um, an individual or a person be inspired by them but forge your own path of expression you don't have to do it like them you don't have to be them be yourself this is where we are walking into in the age of Aquarius. And, and if I had to say it in one way or the other, the age of Aquarius isn't happening overnight. It's gradually happening just like the birth, the mother giving birth to this child. She's, she is impregnated. She carries the baby for nine months. And even that baby comes through the birth canal on its way in. Even when the head emerges and it's able to sense that there is a new, a new place to live, there is still this, this energy that's flowing. And so even as we are looking at the Aquarius, it's okay to be inspired by other people, but you don't need to copy them. You don't need to copy what somebody else has done. Be you. Be happy with you. This authentic experience. We have so many people that are influencers and everybody's trying to be like them. And what for? What What is the purpose? When you have that light inside yourself, if you would allow yourself to go in and love the little light that's there so that it could become a bigger light for you. And if that light inspires someone else, it inspires them to become their authentic person. Not for them to copy you or for them to say, I follow her or him, wherever. Be authentic. We're going to go ahead and get into that. I have some wonderful coffee here. There you go. And the card that I have, the first card that I pulled is the strength card. Whoa. I love this card. That card, to me, it, it says so much. Um, and, of course, I'm using the Witch's Tarot by... Um, let me just get it. Because it's such a wonderful, a wonderful uh, deck. By Ellen Cannon-Reed and her illustrator, Martin Reed. Really, really awesome. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. The second card I pulled is the Five of Pentacles. Very, very interesting. The third I uh, pull, pull that I have is the Reverse Three of Cups. Very good. The fourth card is the Nine of Pentacles. Excellent card, especially for today, especially as we round out our week. So let's talk about the Strength card. So the Strength card definitely is about a balance when it comes to um, how you interact with uh, with people that you are connected to. It's the interaction and um, also the peace that, that can be de uh, developed. It also represents a measure of trust. Trust. I'm not going to say a measure, just trust period the maiden has to trust the lion the lion has to trust that the maiden or this is not going to put it in a chokehold and, and kill it right so either way there's this this 
energy of trust that is is um, issuing or part of this card read. So here we have the five of pentacles and five is representing change. Pentacles is about um, things in your mundane world, things that are touchable, your career, your job, your health. It's a, it's a good card. Why do we know that? The three of cups is reversed. So that three is representing um, divine aspect or divine communication. We have messages that come in threes. The cups are overturned, which means that we're releasing toxic negative communication. Now, usually when we have the three of cups, we see friendship, we see joy. However, it's connected, um, those answers or that revelation is connected to other cards that show up in the deck. Because we have the strength card showing up, very the very first card, which is about trust. And the second card is trusting how change is happening in your real life, your real world, and knowing that that change is releasing um, anything toxic, anything negative. You're, you're, whatever you've been holding is is releasing. And why do we know that that Three of Cups reverse is a great card? Because the Nine of Pentacles shows up, which is really is, is about the review of what is good, what has benefited you in this time frame, what's benefiting you in this life. And using that information to move forward. So we look at the type of cycles that we're keeping. And are the cycles getting better? Are the cycle, because we, we all are cyclical. Yeah, we're all cyclical. Even the fact that we come in this life, uh, that we're born, and then there's, there's the living, and then there's the, the death. And then we're born again. And some may say, well, that's a whole new soul. Others may say, that's ancestors returned. Another one may say, those are spirits of, of, of God. Either way, there's a recycling. We see that in our plant system. We see plants that, um, that produce a seed. And we put that seed right back in the ground. And then it reproduces. So we're all cyclical. We're all cycles. So now, uh, are our cycles going to be positive? Or negative well based on this card spread the cycles are positive the cycle is that um, releasing negative um, cyclical communication is positive releasing and making changes so that you're able to overcome obstacles in your life is positive Learning how to trust and allowing yourself to trust. That's positive, which is amazing. So this is a great card read. So we might have an, um, an issue with trusting. Well, as you recall, we share how do we get through these things. One, we identify the issue. Two, we uh, locate where we feel about it in our body. And then three, we tell the mind, we tell the mind and the brain hey, this is how the body's going to feel and I'm not going to accept um, or, or I'm choosing to negate having bad feelings in the body and we're going to correct this, this, this process. How do you do that? By canceling negative thoughts. I do that by using a word and I learned that through um, uh, wonderful educators in the field of mind science. So with that being said, this card here, the eight card, the eight that is a major arcana, learning how to trust. If you have difficulty in trusting, and that's what you say, I it's difficult for me to trust, then go ahead and cancel that statement, especially if you feel that in your body. Not, it's difficult for me to trust. The second card, um, making changes in the household, getting, um, overcoming obstacles. You may feel, it's hard for me to let things go. It's hard for me to overcome these obstacles. That needs to be eliminated from the body and the mind not it's overwhelming to overcome these obstacles not it's overwhelming to overcome these obstacles now there's the obstacles or the triggers that are connected to um, toxic communication in relationships and then also 
moving forward and ending old cycles so that you can begin better cycles. If you would like to know more, you can definitely book a session, a private session with me, so that you can clear these negative triggers that show up in your body and you can truly allow yourself to get to the better side of trust so that your cycles of experience and relationships can be productive, supportive, and offer positive change. Thank you for joining me this week. I'll be back on Monday. <laughs> and we have the Tarot classes. The Witches School of Tarot is coming up. I'm really excited. So you've got to go to michela-renee.com. There you go. And subscribe so that you can get the newsletter and you'll be able to find out about the new School of Tarology. Thank you so very much. Blessed be. I'm going to go ahead and sip on my wonderful coffee.